Hey, so like whenever I'm party or somebody gets me in like a dark room or something like that, they always, you know, they're like, so like, what do you think of the Terminator or what do you think of the Matrix? And then it's like, I always give them kind of disappointing answers to me, right? Because it's like that they're just sci-fi movies. I don't know uh, what other opinion to hold over them. Uh, and then, like, I do have a lot of existential fears when it comes to AI overall, but, like, they're not, like, the Matrix or the Terminator, right? Um, here's a very good example of what I would say is, like, one of my real-world existential fears when it comes to AI. Uh, this research paper from Alibaba, Sell It Before You Make It, Revolutionizing E-Commerce with Personalized AI-Generated Items. <laughs> and then, so, the paper... Overall, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but it introduces a concept that Alibaba is already implementing, right? So they're already doing this. This is already real, not science fiction, not Terminator or Matrix and going on, right? Uh, and then so essentially what they're doing is utilizing their algorithm and then their knowledge of you <laughs> to uh, use diffusion models to create ads and products that are specifically tailored to you, right? Like uh, so clothing, photography, etc. right? And then if it gets a certain amount of orders or likes or uh, interest overall, then they actually make the product. But what they're doing is they're just like they're tr they've trained a diffusion model and then the diffusion model will only generate products like essentially within its catalog that it can make right uh which is kind of the interesting thing about how diffusion models work overall so it's taking an interesting dynamic of that and limitation of diffusion models and then actually turning it on its head so good job alibaba group in that instance right but uh I think it's interesting because this paper also comes out the very same day today, right? When autonomy breaks the hidden existential risk of AI. Uh, and then the abstract is pretty straightforward to me. AI risks are typically framed around physical threats to humanity, a loss of control, or an accidental error causing humanity's extinction. However, I argue in line with the gradual disempowerment thesis that there is an underappreciated risk in the slow and irrevocable decline of human autonomy. As AI starts to outcompete humans in various areas of life, a tipping point will be reached where it no longer makes sense to rely on human decision making, creativity, social care, or even leadership. What may follow is a process of gradual de-skilling where we lose the skills that we currently take for granted. Traditionally, it's argued that AI will gain human skills over time and that these skills are innate and immutable in humans. By contrast, I argue that humans may lose such skills as critical thinking, decision making, and even social care in an AI world. The biggest threat to humanity is therefore not that machines will become more like humans, but that humans will become more like machines. And then this paper, very specific, like it uses two prominent examples, right? It uses the example of slavery as well as the Britney Spears conservatorship. <laughs> and then so two very distinct and, and, and prominent examples uh, to showcase and highlight this, right? That the, like what happens within a um, lack of autonomy overall and like a lack of uh, autonomy within like and decision making within your over, over, everyday overall life. <laughs> and the slippery slope from there and starting from there is this is like are these algorithms like this uh, to me is very bad <laughs> like, like uh, if we are to regulate any part of AI like we need to be regulating this part of AI overall right I, I like I, I see nothing but bad things overall <clears throat> coming from this particular research and uh, this particular model right and these particular models in general like they're taking it to a uh, a whole nother level and a whole next step right like uh the they really break it down they give you the the full entire context and the metrics right and then so it's like uh, you would have a merchant like merchants with different records so like store one and store two and then they would all three like like so you would get essentially like uh, six different images six different styles depending on the individual preferences right so it's individualized 
<laughs> literally creating products on the fly uh, via individualized preferences, but not actually creating the products, right? Uh, and then they notice a 13% increase uh, in performance with this particular algorithm. So like, why is this so insidious, right? What makes this particularly insidious is like, so who puts it out, right? Alibaba Group. There's only a handful of, of companies and groups that can benefit from this technology overall. It's Alibaba, Amazon, Meta, and Google. <laughs> like, those would be the core, right? Uh, any other company that is not those companies is going to benefit significantly less from this technology than those four, right? Uh, and then let's say that there's another 40 that will benefit from it, like, at an outlier, and then everyone else is going to be at a detriment from, from this technology being in existence. So that you have, like, 44 companies total that are going to, like, uh, be better off because this exists and then the entire world is going to be subjected to this overall, right? And then uh, it's kind of a nasty, insidious technology to me overall within this. Like, I, I, we should stop and look at like what direction we want this to go overall, right? Uh, when autonomy breaks, the hidden ex existential risk of AI, uh, I, I, like I'm in support of this research here, right? And then they lay out kind of like um, four big assumptions, what could go wrong uh, within all of this. Essentially, the bottom line is once machines start making important decisions, society will resist human decision making due to a complex web of institutional powers and mechanisms that will start to preference AGI's smarter, faster, more efficient decision making capabilities. And then so it kind of creates a situation of where you like have like a, a, a loss of like a string of loss of human autonomy and it starts essentially uh with this right like this these scenarios right here and then so like here it is it's already happening this isn't science fiction like this isn't the terminator or the matrix um this is your real world and your actual reality like so uh like what do you want to do in your real world and your actual reality about these things uh that are actually here as opposed to uh far off side Sci-fi scenarios, right? Like, and like, I mean, to me, uh, that's the more important question uh, within this. I don't have an answer to it uh, overall, but so I would love uh, my answers to that. Uh, if you have some, let's uh, let's brainstorm them. Uh, but if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.